Brian, I noticed this uh, beautiful sunset. All right, we're just coming to the end of the brand T3 on this week. You see the week in the body line here. But yeah, that's all done now. Right, we're out in the early morning shift this morning, about five. It's now spraying in the sugar beet again. This morning we found out I can use the auto steer so I can do a bit of filming we were using the, the fine spray nozzles this morning because we've got a good coverage we're doing just over 100 litres a hectare when I was mixing up the I can get the chemical in quick enough so the um, it uh, had slightly too much, so instead of doing 100 litres a hectare, I'm having to do 107, which, mean, which means I've had to slow it, slow it down a bit. But anyway, we're doing it. You say, how did the too much get in there? Too much water. Well, the reason was when I was putting the chemical in. If when you're doing sugar beet, you have a lot of chemical to get in. A lot of chemical to get in and it got up to what I needed, which was 3,000 litres, and I still hadn't got all the chemical in, so the chemical uses water from the uh, fresh water tank, obviously to flush all the chemical through, so by the time I'd finished, instead of having 3,000 litres, I'd got about 3,200, which meant I had to go from 100 litres a hectare to 107, so that's the reason why. Right, it's the 15th of June today. I've just uh, started in a bit of hay for a customer. He's done the middle of the field with his um, small, uh, just conventional bales, John, John Deere. And I'm uh, just going around the headland with, uh, with the big ones. It's not going to be many, probably seven or eight, possibly maximum, but it's like was only just down the road, so. Right, yeah, I've got a, a smaller baler than 20, 20 odd seven, I think. Yeah, the, the, the inside of the bale chamber was a bit, uh, was a bit rusty, but I'll probably take a few bales to shine up, so you have to release the pressure a bit. You do for hay anyway, have the pressure a lot less for hay, because you can get really heavy bales, but the moisture is 5-6%, five, five, so it's plenty, plenty dry enough. Well, we haven't had any rain for nearly two weeks, I think, now, so... But there is, they are talking about storms coming. Uh, today is Tuesday, late Wednesday evening, Thursday morning, so... Yeah, start of the baling season. Hi, right, I'm just doing a last wash out. I've just, well, I finished last night the uh, spraying of this spring barley here, the ear spray. I'm just transferring this fresh water into the main tank to do the last, the last clean out here on the boom. Should be all the spray. I've got a bit of beans to do, but it should be all of the wheat and the barley done now, so. Yep. Yeah, I had problems with the sprayer again last night. You had to come out and change the sensor. It wouldn't detect there was any water in the fresh water tank, which I was 500 litres. It was full up, but it wouldn't detect there was any in there. So I couldn't wash the tank out properly, but so I had to wash each can out individually under a tap, fill it up, give it a good shake, and then tip it into the duction hopper, and then just do it because um, can got empty. That took a long time because four of the cans were very sticky and it took ages to get out. So I was a bit late finishing. I'm just out in this uh, sugar beet barley field. We've had uh, 
storm overnight. I don't think it was too heavy. I'm not really sure. We had about uh, seven mil. And it's ever so lightly draining now, but just see, it has just sort of like knocked it over a little bit in there. But there's nothing. There's nothing on the deck deck yet, and there's a few places where it has just knocked it down a little bit. But I think that'll be. Okay, I've just noticed a little bit of a hole further along here, so I'm just walking along to see what it what it actually looks like. Obviously the crop is soaking wet, but the tram line here is pretty wide. But I am getting drenched, as you can see, so I don't think I'm gonna go any further. But yeah, no, it doesn't look too bad. And the sugar beet, this will be good for the sugar beet. They're coming along nicely now. You can see the big the big ones and the small ones and there's a, di a difference in color the bigger ones tend to be a bit darker than the small ones but now this, this rain this rain should do them good and it's, it's still pretty warm actually today it's going to go up to 22 even though they say it's going to be raining all day but yeah we'll just see what and that's tomorrow it's supposed to be cool it's supposed to be 15 16 so yeah, but everything is growing nicely. <laughs> there's a load of uh, wheat going out this morning. I thought it was a clear up load, but there's about another five or six tons. I'm just loading up take the same as I did with them beans. So far we've got 3.37 tonne bearings so we're about 6. Just a large little bit of it's just So this is a 11 ton trailer, what do you reckon's in there? There's a bit of a gap at the back there, I'm going to try and get a proper view so now because this is the end of the video and you can guess how much is in there and this is the front of the trailer, so it's right foot at the front, there's a bit of a little bit of a gap here at the back, how much do you reckon's in there? Yeah, so you can see here the unladen weight is 3790 and the max gross weight UK is 15. So if you did that minus the two and actually up the top here, so there's number of axles, number of axles, there's two and the where's the other bit? 11 ton up there, that's what it says. So that's how big the trailer is. Seen how full it is, so how much do you reckon's in there? I, re I reckon myself about 9.4, but I'll leave you. But anyway, that's the end of this video. As of coming up for next week, I'll be delivering this load and then we'll see what happens after that. Mm -hmm.